Hey guys, giving away a Switch and a free game on the channel this month. Like I was in August, I'm doing it again in September. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell, and make sure that you comment on my video whenever it goes live, because commenting on the video guarantees you the entry into the competition, and the comment can be anything you like. If you like giveaways as well, Claytano is giving away a PS4 on his channel this month. Hey guys, so I've changed the first couple of things. Changed the audio station. Uh, I've changed it to something way more chilled out, and I shouldn't have any kind of like crazy boss battle game music or anything like that. Um, what do we got here? It took, a, it took a while to find this lobby, so got some rooks, some kings. Um, a lot of people have been asking me like tips to to improve at the game. Like, what what tips would I give you to improve at the game? So I'm gonna like over the course of this game talk about what I think are the most important things for an auto chess player to have in order to do well at the game. Um, the first of which is really easy. You need to know the best meta compositions. Um, if I were to list the best meta compositions, top five right now, I would say, one second. I would say Glacier Knights. I would say Dragon Mages. I would say Feathered Hunter, Feathered Assassin, and Divinity Mages. Um, I think they're like the best current meta compositions and I think divinity mages are obviously god mages are rather still good if you like the, the most unbeatable late game composition I think the three hunter builds are pretty solid so three hunter and warrior is always, always pretty good I don't think warriors themselves are that good right now which is why I, I avoid them at the moment um, but yeah I, I usually post a video once a month about the current meta compositions I'm waiting until they release the new dragon mage to do the next one um, but yeah, you can always usually find me talking about meta compositions somewhere. This is a rough one because this is okay and this is okay, but also to be which it wouldn't be too bad. What's everyone else going? Hard, anyone hard committing to divinity here? No one's picked. No one's picked up a two-star God of War, so let's do that. Um, yeah, so my first tip would always be just make sure that you know exactly what meta compositions are around before you kind of get into game because um to me that's like one of the most important things that you can get from this game is just like knowing how to build the compositions that you want to because if you're going into a game and you have no idea how to build oh my god look at that if you're going into a game and you have no idea how to build a composition you're going to get stuck because you don't know what units to build and this is especially true for for so, so, so one second guys Sorry. that's okay that's all right. The dogs are uh, the dogs are going out, so they're just they're very uh, sort of out there right now. We can give these over to him, I think. We can probably even give these over to him. Um, I'm wondering what I want to buy here. I mean, whispers here wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I don't actually think, um, I actually don't think Warriors like it. Sorry, my, uh, my dogs were just, uh, being taken out for a walk by Emily. Yeah, I don't actually think, um, screw it. Why not? Right, I'm going to give stuff over to the units that I'm not going to keep. Oh, are they saying that? I'll take that because, actually no, I won't. I'll take, yeah, I will take that because Dragon Mages are a thing, right? I'll take this because that gives me the, um. Um, yeah, so that after we got through the dogs getting taken out for a walk, I think knowing the meta compositions is the most important thing. The next most important thing for me is being able to know how to build, uh, sorry, how to build an economy and use it. Um, there are plenty of guides out there on how to build an economy. I have done um, a lot of them myself. Uh, I've got a basic, what we call middling flowchart out there, which is a pretty good economy guide overall. Um, so yeah, I think um, plenty of guides out there on how to build economies. Um, and it, building an economy is one of the most important things you can do in this game. You should really know that aiming for 50 gold is ideal, but never always not completely able to do that. Um, there's a lot of people that now play an early rolling strategy, myself included, if you've got the right composition for it. So always... <laughs> Sorry, Rupert. I'm... Are you unhappy right now, little man? Uh, I'm thinking about maybe selling off the source and going up to five here. Cool. I think that's a decent idea. Um, 
So yeah, there's a lot of people who roll early right now, especially if you get if you end up getting lots of pairs or you're trying to compete for specific units. Rolling can be a really good strategy. So rolling early is obviously something that you need to you need to be considering if you're playing um, any kind of economy. Uh, you'll see a lot of my recent videos. I do an early rolling strategy, which is obviously very important to my wins. Uh, so make sure that if you're learning how to to play an economy, the early rolling should not be discounted. Rupert, how are you doing? So there's me playing knights at the moment. There's another knight player down here. Uh, I don't really just want to keep playing knights realistically, but it is kind of what the game is kind of what the game is giving me right now. I mean, that was literally just a round of just giving me stuff for my knights. Um, because I've now got like loads of glacier knight stuff. Oh, I really don't want to keep playing knights over and over again, but they're just like, like glacier knight is strictly one of the strongest comps in the game right now. This guy is going knights. This guy is also going knights. They've got the light blade knights though, which is annoying because I need light blade knight. Which might mean that I need to start rolling. But again, I'm the strongest knight player in the lobby right now, just with my current position. So I don't need to be bent by other people in terms of changing. Unless they start picking up loads of important two stars, I think I'm just pretty happy to just stay how I'm doing. So we can build a win streak from here. So yeah, like, build meta compositions. Um, that's fine. I might actually roll. Okay. Well, is he better? Is having him, having him is actually probably better, right? He's a bit tankier. I'm probably never going to be using him, so let's sell him. Maybe get a unicorn just in case we can get some extra gold here. Oh, is it the is it the guy that was playing the two star um, Phantom Queen earlier? I actually think having the uh, Frost Knight on saved me right now. Nice, there we go. How many other people are going knights? Still this guy. He's got a Dragon Knight already, holy moly. Although Dragon Knight's not exactly a, a good... I don't think Dragon Knights are as good as the old regular. I actually think having two Argali Knights on is better than... Just because uh, Argali Knight's a better individual unit than Hell Knight. In the early game, especially. Um, we're actually not in a bad position for Glacier Knights. I don't want to keep playing Glacier Knights. I think that I'm better than just playing Glacier Knights over and over again, but... Um, there is a part of me that wants to play Dragon Mages. But we'll see. We've got a good start. We've got like a really, really strong start. In terms of my third tip, it comes down to positioning. Um, so for instance, now that I'm, now that I've got these knights in the field, it's actually probably better for me to move my positioning back a little bit because, um, as you guys might know, well, okay, well, uh, <laughs> one second guys, this is something else that's worth noting. A lot of people going, now this might seem weird to you, but now I have like all the druids. And then I've got a Shining Assassin here. Um, we could make a full pivot because there is a lot of Knight players and some people have got two-star light, light Blade Knights already. And no one is going Feathered. We could make a full pivot into Feathered and still do really well. Kira Axe, we've got ourselves a Heaven's Gift. I know that for sure. Put that on him. Magia Crystal. Yeah, I think we could... Um, I would be very happy to make a full pivot into Feathered Assassin. This is actually, this is actually the toughest decision I've ever had to make. I've got literally got two compositions, but I've got no Light Blade Knight. So that is something that is worth noting about the composition that I've got right now, is I've actually got no Light Blade Knight. Um, which is going to make this composition very difficult to... Um, oh, I sold off him, I forgot. Uh, it's going to make this composition very difficult to work the later I go. Because I don't have a Light Blade Knight. Um, Light Blade Knight is like the core carry for Glacier Knights. And 
I don't have it, which is obviously a big deal. This is am I gonna lose to um am I gonna lose to this Beast Warrior player? I think I'm actually gonna lose to this Beast Warrior player. That is awful. Oh my god, that's that's actually so bad. Because now I have no economy. Oh, that's awful. I was thought I was thought I was in one of the strongest positions ever. Yeah, I mean we have to we have to, right? We just have to. There's there's there's, there's no reason to not play. There's no reason to just not play um feathered assassin here because we just picked up all the bloody druids this is another skill that is really important for for, for learning how to to play the game um i might i mean i could buy a lot of sand here it depends i kind of like the, the hell knight would carry me for a little bit longer and denying knights away from the knight players is actually quite a good idea but i will be getting rid of them it's, it's quite clear that i'm going to be getting rid of them now right so um learning how to pivot is a very big skill uh actually guys learning how to pivot is a big skill at least I killed his win streak as well, but he's at 30 gold already. He's like way, way, way ahead of the curve on me. I could sell off my entire comp, right? It wouldn't be that big of a deal. I could definitely just sell off my whole composition. There's the Wind Ranger. I've got one, two. I need Taboo Witcher. That's the only thing. I've not got any Taboo Witchers. So usually I'd be leveling up to seven here if I had a win streak to protect, but I don't. This guy is popping off. However, I think this is a good game to go into Feather Feathered Assassin. Um, although I've got a super strong uh, knight comp here, like for the beginnings, I'm going to sell this all off and then I'm going to get fed my Feathered Assassin. But I, just need to, I need to save up now. Like I just need to hard save to 50 gold because my entire win streak got screwed. Uh, cool. So we need to be Witcher. One, two, three, four, five. We've got five. Well, I'll take that and I'll level that. So now I'm just like ridiculously strong. Now we're just like ridiculously strong, right? We can sell that and put him in. Just put another two star in. We've got the entire feathered comp ready to go um i might as well give him that i'm gonna sell all these things eventually might as well cool yeah we're just um we're basically going to just try and win streak up to i hope i ruin this guy's win streak That'd be really nice. Yes. We did. We ruined his win streak, but he is already at 50 gold, and I'm at 8. So I can't really talk. I'll take that because that's going to eventually become useful. Hi. Sorry. I, I should have responded to you. I should have responded to you. And there's no point even positioning apart from just putting him over here. Every, everybody on this team is good against the wolf pack. Um, even though I've got a solid knight comp, there is this guy going knights, this guy's going knights. And I also don't have any light blade knights. The reason, you might think to yourself, but no, you're, like, you're in such a good position to force knights. The, the, the most important knight in terms of damage for glacier knights is light blade knight. And I haven't found a single one of them so far. And I'm already behind the curve in trying to find the light blade knights because I can see this guy's got a two star with, well, not on his bench, but this guy's also got a two star uh, light blade knight too. That's good. I've actually got um, a lot of stuff now as well. I'm almost at a refresher orb. That's pog. So I'm actually going to just keep, keep this composition going um, for the time being. Rupert. Uh, there's no one that I want to give this to, but I'll just give it to him until I sell him. Uh, and I guess I could give this to him. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. That's okay. That's okay. 
Fuck! Rupert, uh, Daddy made an error. <laughs> Daddy made an error. A very large error. Okay, we're uh, see. You see, Lightblade Knights actually. This is the guy who's in last place, by the way. And Lightblade Knight is just doing some insane amount of work. Um, yeah, that's Lightblade Knight for you. Victory. I basically need to win streak up until fifty gold now. Sure. Oh, I'm actually kind of triggered about that. I mean, it's not bad. But he doesn't really build into anything that's useful for him. Maybe this. This is like the only thing that I think it would be kind of useful for. But nothing else it really builds into. Not even a refresher orb. That's that's like okay, but better on someone like um my uh, my shadow crawler. This guy's got uh, no shadow crawlers as well. What level is this guy? Seven. Yeah, this is the guy that beat me last time. He's just stomping me. It's the bloody this guy. It's this thing. How is he? He's losing to other people, but smashing me. I still just need to get to 50 gold, unfortunately. Uh, this might be the time to just sell off. I think it is. I think this was the time. It means I'm going to weaken my composition significantly. But, um... But that's okay. So we, we I just basically into I sold off everything there because I was just so far behind in economy that it's much better that I just try and go for uh, a play like this. Um like, we don't even do that badly versus the knight players because we've got the uh, the feathered bonus. <laughs> We're actually going to beat Fearless somehow. So this is when I made my full switch because... Um, well, because I needed the economy now. Because I, I need to get to level 7 and then eventually get to level 8. Um, so there we go, put that guy on. So now we're level seven, then we need to get to level eight, and it's just I think we get to level eight and then roll for the for the upgrades. So basically, a full pivot into feathered here because it was the the best thing to do for my composition. And now I need to race the assassin player to find um, race the assassin player. There's two assassin players actually. Interesting. He doesn't have a sh shadow crawler though, which is like the only reason you'd ever build an assassin composition. Okay, so I'm th this 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 guy's gonna smash me. Um. What's wrong, Rupert? Yeah, this guy's going to crush me. Um, he's the only guy I'm slightly worried about because he's hunters. Um, he looks like he's going for six hunters as well, which would act would actually just crush me. But that's okay. today we're gonna to be a bit quieter today Rupert because people get people get a bit angry when you get a bit loud so we're just gonna be a bit quieter aren't we? and if you scream I'm gonna try and edit it out of the video so this was gonna be a video I think I'm just gonna do a, a guy a, a tip video as a separate video I think that's probably just the best thing to do because another Kira axe that's gonna be another heaven's gift right yes it is that's awesome I've got two Heaven's Gifts, which is actually really pog. <laughs> She's just going to put him on. Let's roll down a little bit. Whisper Seer. Strange Egg. Shiny Assassin. Oh, that's actually pretty good.
I wouldn't mind both of those things. I think I can wait on the... I think I can probably wait on the... Uh, on the Lord of Sand, but I'll take the Whispers here. Cool. I'm going to keep that here because there's a very real chance that I could give... I could get a big Shadow Crawler upgrade. So this is not... This is a potential upgrade. This is a potential upgrade. I could use that to get a level 3 Razor Claw or I could use it to get a level 3 Warpwood Sage. Um, he's level, he's nearly level two, he's nearly level two. Yes, little bud. I think we just roll until we find all the, the necessary upgrades. Kind of annoyed that I gave him that. It's not the worst thing in the world because his heal is actually pretty strong. But, um, it does diminish him, his, uh, his power a little bit. Level three light blade knight. Yeah, it's, that's, I'm not going to beat this guy until I get, um, until I get a slightly higher level team, to be honest with you. Because he's just got a very high level team. I also, oh, I actually beat him. I actually beat the Hunter player. Glacier Knight player beat me, though. Pretty easily. They're all on, like, 9 HP, though. They just need one loss and they'll end up losing this. Uh, it's, taboo, it's a taboo witcher there. Hmm. Let's get the Taboo Witcher. So I'm going to keep this for Razor Claw, for sure. And then I just need to find one more, uh, one more, one more, um, this dude and one more of, uh, and then loads of more of those, actually. She's a win condition for me, but she's only level one right now. What is this? Is this the, don't tell me someone actually think this is, thinks this is a good composition, by the way. Um, I don't know if anyone saw, but if you watch Oran's stream, he played Glacier Goblin in a um, in a tournament game. But some people don't seem to have realized that it was a joke. <laughs> Somehow it was actually beating me, but it was supposed to be a joke. <sighs> I don't think it's going to beat me, actually. You need to be level 10 to make this composition work, which makes it really bad. He's also the like, last place. I need um there we go. That'll do. Oh shoot, I need a I need a unicorn. Well, I'll find a unicorn over the next few rounds. And then I'll also find another Wind Ranger and some more Lord of Sands and another Shadow Crawler and we'll be good. He's at fifty four. He's got um he's got no shadow crawler. Very interesting. Assassins are not in a good spot right now, but none of them are competing for Shadow Cooler, and I don't know why. Ah, Double Heaven's Gift. So good. He's got a level 3 uh, Phantom Queen. That's like the one thing that can actually do damage to um, Ring of Life. Oh my god. I actually almost ha I have an Orb of Refresh on my uh, him if I really wanted it, but I don't, obviously. There we go. Rank up. Can we find anything here? I can find that to sell. Cool. I should probably just give this to him. In case we find another one. Because Norb of Refresh on him would be so good. Well, this, this video was supposed to be a tip video, and then it just turned out into me having to do several things at once and losing my train of thought. It's much easier to make a tip video if I, like, don't try and play a game at the same time. Mysterial staff? What does this combine into? Ah. Well, that's actually worked out okay. <laughs> I'll actually take that. That's actually not awful. I'll combine that as well. Double. Now I just need to get her to level 2. I need to get Wind Ranger to level 2. And then we're basically just looking for certain... So, like, the, the Glacier Goblin composition, which was garbage, came last. He must have watched Oran's stream and thought, that looks like a good comp. Let's give it a go. We need to find... We really need a level 3 Shadow... There we go, level 2 Shadow Crawler. It's a good start. We need to find level 2 Ward of Sand and level 2 Wind Ranger, and then we're in a really good spot. But her being level 2 makes this much, much better. Him being level 2 will definitely help, and then him being level 3 will definitely help. 
probably should start saving though actually let's be patient i've got 57 hp my comp is actually pretty strong um let's be patient okay i think we're good we just need one more ring of life okay we're gonna beat this guy yeah okay we actually beat the glacier guy now that's good this is why we this is why we pivoted there was too many people there was too many people playing uh, i don't even know if we're gonna beat him actually there were too many people playing um there is yeah, we go. too many people playing glacier knights shield put it on him shadow crawler Too many people playing Glacier Knights, weren't there, Rupert? So we had to play the counter, which is technically Feathered Assassin. Or Feathered Hunter, but fe I think Feathered Assassin works better. Because you get Shining Assassin, and Shining Assassin is a good unit versus these, these compositions. So now we've got Goblin. I don't think any of these guys beat us. I don't even think this guy beats us. I think we beat everybody in this lobby now. This is the kind of... I don't, I, mean, I don't even know what this composition is, by the way. I have absolutely no idea what this composition is. Um, I wish I could tell you. Is it like Warrior, Divinity, Divinity Warrior? It's like Divinity Warrior, actually. It, no, I do kind of know. It's Divinity Warrior with a Flaming Wizard. But you need lots of mana crystals to make this work. Okay, he's out. We need one more uh, Ring of... Uh, need one more mana crystal. And then we get Orb of Refresh on my uh, Razor Claw. Don't we, Reaper? So this was um this is a big boy pivot game. This is a big boy pivot game. Strange egg. I'll actually save that I think for her. I could use it on him if I get desperate, but I don't think I'm gonna get desperate. Could also use it on him to get a three star taboo witcher, which would be nice to have an extra tanky boy. Kind of tanky warpwood sage. I don't have any armor, which is a bit of an issue. But I'm good versus the assassin players for the most part. I'm really good versus the assassin players. This is the goblin assassin player. He's got a ripper, which is a good unit versus me, of course. Um, luckily, I've got a warpwood sage. Sorry, I've got a uh, taboo witcher who just stops him from ever casting an ability. Yeah, we have no issues versus this guy. We're not going to struggle. Don't think I'm going to struggle versus... This actually has gone worse than I thought it would. Wooden club, another shield. Oh, another Kira axe. Wow, we got three Heaven's Gifts. Is it better to potentially put that on her? So she can have her own Heaven's Gift? Do we get three Heaven's Gifts this game? To be Witcher. Okay. We'd love another with love, love another Wind Ranger and some more some more uh Lord of Sands, but Lord of Sands being pretty heavily contested right now. Hey, 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 hey. Don't think we need to go to level 9, by the way. There's nothing that we get at level 9, so we're probably just better off trying to roll for the stuff that we need now. Um, has this guy actually just... No, we've got, like, we've got too many Heaven's Gifts, right? Uh, no, we are actually getting... We're getting hit pretty hard by this guy's level 3 Skybreaker, which I just didn't think would be a thing. How is this a thing? How are we losing to a level to a skybreaker? There's my wind ranger. I'm probably going to use this on taboo witcher if I find one more taboo witcher. It's like more likely that that's going to actually result in result in a uh, a level three for me. A level three would really help me out here. Thunderhide. If I get a orb of refresh on him, I will be so forever grateful. Got one, two, three heaven's gifts, by the way. <laughs> Mysterio staff. Broken sword, Mysterio staff. Um, so you can have the broken sword. This is this. Sure. <laughs> I'm not shining assassin. No, nope. nothing, not yet. Three star abyssal crawler. We might actually. This is going to come down to very RNG based uh, engages. Also, I hope that 
either I'm probably due I'm probably going to get second just because I've got that amount of HP. Really depends if this guy is gonna to lose to the other guy. Oh wow, I just got actually destroyed by this guy. Uh, I don't know if RNG is really helping me here. Getting a lot of um, yeah, I don't think I was getting I wasn't getting a lot of um, dodges, to be honest with you. I wasn't getting a lot. Of, I mean, I beat the other guy though. It's, again, it's really going to come down to dodges, isn't it? Yeah, I wasn't getting enough dodges. Okay. Nope. We need one more to be Witcher, realistically. That'll do. I'll take it. I'll take it. And now we're just looking for Lord of Sands and we're looking for... We're looking for Lord of Sands and we're looking for um, Shadow Crawlers. But we're, everyone here is looking for Shadow Crawlers, it looks like. He's got all the Lord of Sands and he's got a level 3 Shadow Crawler, so I just don't think I'm going to win. He's got lots of level 3s. Okay, this is good that I've got the um, I've got the level three taboo witcher now, which is really good. But yeah, he's got level three shadow crawler, so this is going to be rough. I think I didn't get a magic crystal right, so. this going oh it's coming down to this I don't I think I I mean he's he's almost got a level 3 uh, Lord of Sand I don't think I beat this amount of level 3s personally um, I'm wondering whether I should just try and save to get to to 9 and bring on something like a Devastator he got a Lord of Sand 3. So he's got a 3-star Abyssal Crawler, 3-star Lord of Sand, 3-star Shadow Crawler, and a 3-star Phantom Queen. Mm, maybe I can get an Orb of Refresh on my um, Razor Claw eventually. That might help. Oh, he actually died. I mean, the amount of Heaven's Gifts I was thinking might actually be able to help me because they're, they're not stacked on the same person, but it's really going to come down to if I can dodge them enough. And it doesn't look like I'm able to dodge them enough. In fact, I'm getting slaughtered. Yeah, I think it's too many. I think there's too many three stars. I think there is just too many three stars. I don't think I'm gonna make it. He got a razor claw three as well. Yeah, this game's over. Unless I can just do something like this. I don't really think there's many other ways we can... Uh, I mean, I've got, I've got a bloody Lord of Sand 1, for God's sake. I think it's very unlikely that I end up winning this. Yeah, I didn't have any armor either. You have to high, you have to high roll the crap out of assassins to win with them right now, and this guy literally high rolled the, cra the crap out of them. However, there was a lot of really strong players in this lobby. Um, there was a lot of really, really strong players in this lobby, and I think we made a good pivot to secure ourselves um, second. Let's just do Black Dragon King. I mean, maybe... I, I don't even think the Orb of Refresh is going to help me, though, right? Having some armor on him might have helped. Maybe the Orb of Refresh on my Razor Claw would have helped. I don't think... I really don't think it would have done, though. I think even if I had an Orb of Refresh on my Razor Claw... I would have ended up in the same spot that I would have done now. Realistically, anyway, I think I would have ended up in the same spot as I would have done now. I think it's time for your nap, isn't it, Rupert? We'll give you your nap after this game, shall we? Fish fork. Don't think that's going to give me a miracle.
There's just no Lord of Sands left in the pool. Look at that. <laughs> just no Lord of Sands left. It is what it is. I think this game's over. You have to get insanely lucky to, uh... Insanely lucky to get the amount of three stars this guy did. And he got the, uh... I mean, look, it's just... Has he got a Black King Varan? No, he hasn't. Just He's just getting lots of really good hits. Yeah. It's just, there's just too many three stars. Just too many three stars. Plus, this Warpwood Sage is unkillable. There you go. However, I still think that we made a good pivot into Feathered, given the amount of Knight players. Now, Knights would have been better versus the Assassin player, for sure. If I had a fully stacked Glacier Knight comp with three stars myself, might have been able to beat this Assassin player. Um, we did not, however. We had uh, so I got a good two a good two stars early game, um, but then I saw that there was so many knight players, a lot of warrior players, um, a couple of well, one hunter player, but he hadn't got six hunters. So I said to myself, probably better given that we got unicorn, Warp, uh, whisper seer, and warpwood sage, and we had them all in like a couple of roles, as well as a shining assassin, which is a, a crucial four cost for the feathered comp. That's like a good reason to go Feathered Assassin. Given that I didn't have a Lightblade Knight, which was... If I had a, if I had a two-star Lightblade Knight, I would have fought for Knights because she's a core unit. But I didn't have a two-star Lightblade Knight. Um, I had Knights that were good in the early game, but they were never going to carry me through the late game if I didn't uh, find them to three-star. So I went Feathered Assassin because I think that it was a better pivot. Um, it was going to allow me to secure a top three position much more easily. And versus the other Assassin player and all the Glacier Knight players, I think it was a better, a better choice overall.